Breaking news, my wonderful people. Our very own brother, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu, finally opens up, breaks silence after the London meeting with Wiki, other PDP governors, reveal the agreement and the plans he has and why he has to have that meeting. You know, with Wiki's meeting and uh, uh, Peter Obi, there are pictures. Wiki's meeting with Atiku, there are pictures. But Wiki's meeting with Tinubu, it was so cl closely guarded that there is not a single footage. That's because he wanted to keep it secret. However, it came out into the open. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. 2023, Tinubu breaks silence after London meeting with Wiki. Other PDP governors reveals next plans and agreement. APC presidential candidate Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Sinobu said his plans, if elected in 2023, is to do what is right for Nigeria, not what is comfortable. APC presidential candidate noted that his ambition is powered by what he described as the love of Nigeria. Tinubu's statement comes days after his reported meeting with Newsom Wiki and the PDP governors in London. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate has promised that his government will do what is right and comfortable, but what is right will not do what is right, what is comfortable, but what is right for Nigeria if elected as the president. The APC flag bearer said it is. He said this in a tweet post on his official Twitter handle on Monday, August the 29th, after adding that his government won't do what is uncomfortable. He tweets, the tweet comes days after Tinobu met with the governor of other states and a few of his colleagues in PDP in, in, PDP in London. Confirming the meeting, Governor Newsom Wiki explained his motive for the closed-door meeting when, when he spoke to the newsmen in Port Harcourt on arrival on August the 26th. The River State Governor said the discussion centered on non peasant topics, but on issues affecting every one of us in the country. However, Tinubu has not officially connected the meeting or made any official statement. This is as many Nigerians are seeking to really understand what is really going on. Details of the meeting turns out of what has happened in London. Tinubu did not quite give all the full details, neither did Governor Newsom Wiki. He only said they had a meeting. So this is what is happening and this is what is going on. Whether you like it or not, there is all kinds of words going on right out there. And um, the truth of it is that we continue to watch, okay, with rapid attention how this whole thing play out. Politicians will continue to be politicians. They have common interest, interest and they know what they are waiting for and what they fight for. So if you think that they are fighting for you, you'll be you'll be more you'll be more you'll be more you'll be more deceived than you can ever imagine. Okay, so this is what is happening. This is what is going on right now. Unless something, you know, is done drastically to, to change the course of what is on ground, you know, we will not be able to get the best of presidential candidates. So this is part of what is going on. And simply we need to understand that most of these people are only doing what they want to do for their selfish interests, not because they really sincerely care for Nigerians. Uh, we can, uh, at Siku, I mean, our very own brother, Tinubu wanted the meeting to be as private as possible. But of course, meeting of such magnitude with all that is going on in the country cannot be as private as you may want it to be. It might not be as private as you may want it to be because world, the walls have ears and more people will hear. Okay, and more people will hear. Whether you like it or not, the walls have ears and the thing will come out. Okay, so this is why Nigeria is getting into that space where every one of us must come out and express okay express why we all need to work together as one people one entity and one unit to get this country out of our present predicament 
So this is what is happening right now. And then the days upon us are where truth must become the essence of the day. Okay. So Nigerians, it is what it is. And um, we all just need to get into this and ensure that we put the right things in perspective and ensure that we bring Nigeria out of the present predicament. Anyway, uh, since he came back from the meeting in London, he has not really said anything. This is the first time he's making a statement and he did not mention as though any meeting ever took place. The only thing he's talking about is that he will do what is right by Nigeria and not what is comfortable. Okay, it's not what is comfortable. In case you are not aware, this is the same party he belongs to that have kept Nigerian students at home losing a whole academic year. A whole academic year is going by because of selfish interest. A whole academic year is going by because some people will not want to do the right thing. At the same time, Buhari has given to the Fulani community $6.5 billion recently to Castina to, ca to carry out ranches. Again, $6.5 billion to carry out ranches. Okay? So this is what is happening. Okay? So this is what is happening. We cannot allow this to happen. We cannot allow this to happen. $6.5 billion. $6.5 billion. So the time to arise, the time to ensure that um, the people who have no iota of concern for this country, okay, are, are removed from the picture in the sense that we vote them is now. So it is what it is. And so it is time for us all as a nation, as a people, to begin to realign with the right things and what we believe to be right so that this nation can move forward. Yes, for a long time we've had, you know, bad leadership over and over again. For a long time we've had people who have lied to us as a nation, as a people, and most of them have not done that which is right and acceptable. What they've engaged themselves in are things that have not really moved us forward. So the days upon us are days where every one of us must begin to look at things more critically and ensure that we do not allow the same set of people over and over again to destroy the very foundations on which this country has been. We must come out of it. Yes, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.